Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. We are continuing our design style series and today we are tackling cottage core. Now, this has been a challenging shoot for me because my younger teenage daughter is the one who has brought me most of these objects to help mom figure out what in the world she is doing. So my design experience is less is more, edit, 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 and don't overdo it. But she kept saying, we need more, mom, we need more. So what we have here is this beautiful, woodsy, rustic, sustainable tablescape diorama of cottage core things. So we need those wonderful old-fashioned granny prints. We need the little tchotchkes and the sentimental bits. We need the plants. We need those wonderful funky mushrooms and obviously the warmers. So we have the happy herbitat here and the lavender love. Now the lavender love is currently available and if you are lucky to find a happy herbitat somewhere that was on sale last spring. And then the other one that I have there is the stone leaf and unfortunately that is also retired. But the concept of cottage core is getting back to nature, getting back to sustainability, and also taking some of those wonderful, almost Victoriana type whimsical thoughts and feelings and harnessing all of that together into this beautiful eclectic new style. So we do have some fabulous warmers that I think would be pretty good for this. And then over here, I definitely think that our Sage Advice Mini hits the nail on the head and this Kindness Warmer would be excellent with Cottage Core as well. And maybe even the Amber Glow, depending on which way you want to do this. So this was a totally new experience for me. So we need Rustic. Uh, I, when I was reading up, found a little bit about you want to kind of have some Little House on the Prairie in there too. So we definitely put in some knitting and some old fashioned finishes for that. And also that wonderful sort of sentimentality that's more Victorian. All of those things come together to create this fairyland that we are calling Cottage Core. So here is style number two for the day, my friends. This is romantic style, and this particular diorama is dedicated to my best friend, the warmer on the right side there, which is the Glamour Time, I believe, and is available, released right now in the clearance section, is hers. It's not even mine. And then the Elegance is a retired warmer on the other side. But you can see so many beautiful details with romantic style. It really does have roots in Victorian and gentility, and it is a very soft style. Style. It always has a little bit of glamour and a little bit of history and a lot of femininity. You can add lace, you can add all sorts of metallics, you definitely want florals, and you want elegant continental finishes to make it just slightly sophisticated as well. So this particular diorama is all in spring tones, by the way, with the beautiful gold and the peaches and the creams. And I hope that you all have enjoyed today's two different styles. Next, we will discuss the way that we can bring scents to the warmers and the dioramas that will match. Okay, bye-bye. So to wrap up our video today, I have scents and some warmer suggestions because I didn't give you any romantic warmers. So the opulence here is a beauty and there are a couple different styles that that could certainly swing. And also we have the mirrored rosé and we have all of these wonderful sparkly warmers which could definitely be mixed in with romantic style. And then we have one that is sort of the flagship warmer at the moment that I think is fantastic and that is the pearlescent petals which is a beauty. And we have a charitable cause warmer which is beautiful, especially if you want a lot of florals, and that is our Monarch. So those I think would all be very appropriate when it comes to a romantic or feminine style. So when we have our bars here, let's start with the cottage core bars. And my daughter informed me that Winnie the Pooh is big in cottage core, and I can certainly see how Winnie being tucked away in his tree, all happy and sustainable, would be a very good flagship mascot and fragrance. So this is just soft with cotton blossoms and baby florals and it's beautiful. Now, you spend a lot of time in your kitchen when you are a cottage core person. So sweet plum pastry is just the epitome of a good English tart. But the plum juice is boiling over and everybody enjoying their goodies after it has come out of the oven and cooled. Then we have butter pecan because this just has that warmth that you think of with cottage core. Oh, it's so roasty toasty and comforting. And then cozy cardigan, we have to knit that cardigan, you know, is just beautiful. And again, it is a relaxed and very huggable, gentle scent. 
hopefully that one will come back in the fall. Now, this one's a little bit odd for any time of the year except Christmas, but Homestead Holiday smells like you would think a cottage core home should, especially the old English cottages and the prairie farmhouses that you see in all of the Pinterest boards. So I think Homestead Holiday, if you can just kind of separate it from the Christmas connotation, is spot on. Then apple cherry strudel for another wonderful cozy bubbly baked good scent. Oh, this is so good. And last but not least, there is sort of a smoky woodsy quality to certain elements of cottage core style. So I threw in Palo Santo, which is lighter on the smoke than some of my other smoky bars. But all these things together just create that comforting, wonderful image that we know as cottage core. Now, romantic style, more feminine, a little bit more well-known, longer lasting, more durable in my mind of a style. I've got mostly romantic stuff up there to finish out this video. So any of these bars that has something to do with florals and romance, I just put them all in the pile. So Honeymoon Hideaway is this beautiful, slightly tropical, very light scent that we had in to bring back my bar a little while ago. Oh, and it's so good and it definitely is romantic. And uh, the dog is over here telling me that he's had enough of me filming for today. So Honeymoon Hideaway is a winner for romantic. And then the musky, wonderful floral that we call Here Comes Sunflowers. Oh, this is romantic too. Mm, and this is like running through a field of flowers in your beautiful dress with all the lace and the pearls dripping off of it. And then White Sands is just such a classy classic and it is gentle and it is slightly romantic. Very good. Then French Kiss, because this is that smoldery, more sensual idea of a romance. This is so good with the caramel and the coconut pulp and the fig. This is one of my favorite romantic bars for sure. And then you couldn't have the floral, beautiful romantic thoughts without Lush Gardenia. And this one is definitely the headiest floral that Scentsy sells. And it is beautiful. And then last but not least, because all good romantics need a rose, I have a gorgeous Bloomin' Beach, which was a Mother's Day scent last year. And this is a light, beautiful rose, not too heavy, honestly. And it's got a little bit of uh, salt water and sea spray with it. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this is for your romance when you're walking along the beach. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys and that you find warmers both in the cottage core and in the romantic style and that you pick up piles of bars, at least the ones that are available. And we will have one more installment next week where we will do one more set of styles. And then to wrap it all up, we'll do a warmer care and just facts and figures about warmers video at the very end of the month. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.